Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for you today. So is Chicken Genius actually a good investor or has he fooled us all? Now, sorry to disappoint all of you haters, but no, I'm not going to bash Chicken Genius. I've actually talked with him twice on this channel. Both videos will be in the top right corner and linked down below. Both are long form videos. We talked about various stuff. I also talk with him outside of YouTube about YouTube about Tesla, about investing, about life in general. And this is my way of actually saying thank you. This is an appreciation video for me as a subscriber, as a friend to say thank you for everything that he has been doing for the YouTube community, for the Tesla community, but for me personally as well. He has obviously helped me with my YouTube channel, well, helped it grow, reach more people. Some of you are subscribers from his channel and came over to my channel as well. So I wanna thank all of you as well. But I am going to talk a little bit about some key points that do make Chicken Genius can actually a good investor. So if you're interested in that, just sit back, relax, maybe hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed on the way to 20,000 subscribers. And I really, really, really appreciate it if we hit that before the end of the year. So point number one, and that's the most obvious one, which is long-term investing. When he started buying into Tesla, he did not think of selling Tesla after a year or two or three. No, he thought about never selling Tesla actually. So long-term horizon, long-term investing is already one major, major point that makes him already a must follow on YouTube. Now again, doesn't mean you have to follow every step he makes, but it's already a very, very positive point rather than following someone that trades or that just momentum invests. So that's already one thing. Second of all, the two portfolio aspect. Now, if you've been following Chicken Genius for a while, you know that he has two portfolios, right? The Diamond Hands one and the Itchy Fingers one. Now, why is this important? Maybe not important, important, but it's a good way to go about your investing because one portfolio is the one that you buy and you forget for 10, 20, 30 years, depends on your investing horizon. The other one, the Itchy Fingers one, is also a long-term investment portfolio, but if times are changing, if momentum is changing, then, well, it's called itchy fingers, then you can use your itchy fingers to maybe sell a position, at your position, start trading around a position, etc. It's very, very useful to have these types of portfolio because that means that in times like today, for example, which aren't fun times, let's face it, those times aren't fun, you will not touch your long-term portfolio, which will probably be most of your money, but you might touch something happened here, but you might touch your itchy fingers ones, which might prevent you from doing a stupid mistake in your long-term holding. So that's already a very, very good one. Point number three, and that's honesty. Honesty goes a long way. Now you might say, who cares about honesty in investing? Well, honesty goes a long way because if you start lying to your friends, to your viewers, to your followers, etc., if you start lying to them, eventually you'll start lying to yourself, telling to yourself that, this is still going to be a great investment, great company, etc. At the end of the day, the only one that you have to convince is yourself because it's your money. So you have to know if you're buying or selling the right company. Honesty goes a long way when you're a YouTuber as well. You don't want to lie to your viewers. You don't want to lie to your subscribers because eventually that lie will catch up and it will screw up your viewership and it will probably screw up your investment and image as well. So honesty is another great point that I want to add to Chicken Genius. Number four is knowledge. Unlike many others here on YouTube, he knows exactly what he wants to do with his investments. He's investing in a couple of stocks, mainly Tesla, then Palantir, Nano, and maybe some others as well. He knows what he's investing in. He's not blindly following someone else. He's not blindly putting money into meme stocks, hype stocks, whatever, without knowing where that money goes. And he also portrays that in his videos. Although his videos aren't extremely long, his videos do give us the information we need to start our investing due diligence. These videos give us a great update, doesn't have to be 20 minutes long. He can give a lot of info in just five minutes. Why? Because his knowledge in what he's investing is extremely, extremely high. And now we go to the last point, and that's transparency. Obviously a very, very transparent YouTuber, very, very transparent investor. 
You see this on Twitter, you see this in his videos. If he talks about options, he will show you the options that he traded, that he bought or sold, whether it's in his videos or on Twitter. Transparency also goes a long way with honesty, with building trust with your viewers. Again, this is all about the connection between you, your investment portfolio, and if you're a YouTuber, obviously your subscribers and your viewers, and then eventually your friends and family as well. But transparency here is very, very important. I took this on myself as well. Every year I do a video, talk about my mistakes and my good moves. I did it last year, I have nothing to hide, so my mistakes will be in a video each and every year, well documented. Do not care about people, ah, you made a mistake, you lost money. Fine, I lost money. If I did learn something from it, then maybe that money was lost for a good reason. I lost money when I started investing, eventually those mistakes turned into very, very good moves. And also that's probably one of the ways why I'm up more than 20 times on my Tesla investment. I had some stupid mistakes when I started, turned into very, very good moves eventually. So again, transparency goes a long way. And another great point to why Ken is a great, great investor, great friend, great YouTuber, and probably a great follow subscriber if you are still not subscribed to his channel. That will be it for this video. I wish you all a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. And if not, just have a great weekend. Have a happy new year as well if I don't see you until next year. That will be it for this video. If you like, consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.